¿Cómo estás? ¿Está bien? All right. Let me tell you something, and there is going to be a point to it. There is a point. I was helping someone with their phone, and Uncle Kev, that's me, I don't really know too much about phones. Maybe some things about laptops, maybe. Maybe some things about desktops. But not so much about phones. Anyways. I was going through that person's phone and trying to look for something, something that I thought should be easy to find. I tapped on, I think it is called Google app to where you can access the internet. I believe I tapped on it and I saw the site's name and I saw like a woman's backside bear like x-rated stuff I did not play the video but there was an image showing and I guess if you were to play press the play button icon or whatever I believe it would have started playing And I think it has been a long time. Now, I think on Facebook, you know, sometimes they may have some mess, some X-rated stuff on there. I haven't seen anything like that for a while, but I believe it has been a while since I saw something like that. And when I saw it, there is a point to this. When I saw it, it was like kind of hard to describe. It was like my breath kind of went out. Do you know what, what I am speaking of? Like your breath. It's like you like it's like your breath going out. If that makes any sense. And I felt a strange sensation. Like. Anyways. If. This was years ago. I probably would have went home and watched some X-rated stuff and probably be in that loop to where I'm doing that mess and asking God to forgive me and doing that mess again, like back and forth. So I was really surprised that I was able to see that and I did not watch the video. I saw the image on the screen to where you can play it, but I did not play it. And I was really surprised that I could withstand seeing that and not have a really bad reaction to it if you understand what I am trying to say okay the more I learned about Jesus Christ I feel that 
This world is a huge test. Huh? I believe this world is a huge test. Let me say this, and I believe I am not wrong about this. This earth, this existence, how we are now in this life, is not a place to not have problems. I think some people imagine, I guess, or whatever, about having a problem-free life in this existence. And from what I believe is true, that is not possible. If it is true that we are here to be tested, how can your life be problem free? If we are here to spiritually advance, don't you need issues? If my patience is very low, how can I increase in patience? By, I guess, being placed in situations that is going to test my patience, right? If I have an anger problem, if, if I have a lust problem, how can I be able to overcome lust by not having lust appear, I guess I can say, in my life? Look now, I believe we have to be tested and tried. How can we spiritually grow? Look now, how can we spiritually grow if we are not tried? Yes, you can pray against bad things happening in your life, yes. You can fast, you can do whatever, right? If you are able to. But ultimately, I feel that we have to have problems in our life, myself. <laughs> I have gone through so much. I have gone through so much, um, trying to live for Jesus Christ. I'm serious now. I think so many dreams, so many, if I can say this, X-rated dreams. Now, to be able to see what I saw on that person's phone and not, you know, go home and be looking at, you know, some X-rated stuff, I think that really showed me how much I grew, grown. Is it grew or grown? How much I grew spiritually. And look now, I think some people want to minister to others teach people about God, man, <laughs> I think one of the things I have learned about if you want to help other people, as in with things of God and stuff like that, I truly believe you really need patience because some people out there are really man. So if God wants to use me, to be able to reach other people, to teach people and stuff like that? What if the way I am, man, I am teaching you all something here. What if the way I am is not suitable to teach others? What if I have low patience? 
What if I have a lust issue? What if I have all these issues? How can I help someone if my personality or my character is not right? What if I have lust issues? Can God really use me? Like, what if some females want to come to me and help them with God, but let's say I have a lust issue. I probably would be, what? Probably making those females sin more. What I believe, and I think this is so true, you are not going to be in this life and not have problems. So if you are imagining this problem-free world and how this existence is, it is not going to happen. Hey, in heaven, yes. When God takes care of everything and changes the world, okay, problem-free. But for now, how things are now, stop expecting a problem-free life, right? The way you are now, look at yourself now. Are you perfect? I know I am not. So if you aren't perfect, aren't we supposed to become more like Jesus Christ every day? I think so. So if you aren't exactly like Jesus Christ right now, shouldn't you be tried? Shouldn't you be tested? Shouldn't you go through some things to better yourself? I think so. Some people may see me or, Kevin, you are so nice. You are so patient. You are blah, blah, blah. How did I get there? Like this? I was tested, I believe. I believe I had to go through so much stuff to stretch me, right? <laughs> I think I was stretched. <laughs> so if it took me to go through stuff to get to where I am now, ultimately it was God, right? What do you believe you have to go through? I have dealt with, let me say this, you know, in my past, I was so rude, so mean, hateful, bitter, probably so many adjectives. But I have dealt with some really, let me say it like this, hard people. And by going through it and shutting my mouth sometimes, not all the time. I believe that grew me and I think God gave the increase. So instead of running away from problems, sometimes you may have to endure it. There is a person I teach and that person really has come a far way. I teach that person, probably not so much now because I think that person has down the concept, I guess, I think so. When you go through problems, learn to do what is right while you are going through problems. I think that is part of spiritual growth. Look now, if, if you are selfish, if you are bitter and hateful and unforgiving, expect more bad things to come your way. Look now, man, please look. Would you rather let God make you rich, have so much money, take away all your problems, let you stay evil, let you stay hateful and angry and whatever else, then die and go to hell afterward? Or do you want God 
to help you push out all that mess, bad things within you out so you can get into heaven. If I am on my way to hell, and I am so serious, if I am on my way to hell, I want God to stop me by all means. Now, I am not saying, you know, I want to be, you know, you know, I don't, <laughs> I am not saying I want God to chop off my leg and stuff like that. But hey, if I am on my way to hell, maybe it may take that. You may be going through something right now to where you feel it is unbearable. But probably what you are going through is helping you to get to the right track because probably if you did not have, if you were not in that situation, you would probably still be on that path to hell right? So if problems are going to save you, let the problems come. If problems are going to better you, which I do not like problems, let them come, right? Yes, you can pray against them. You can fast. Ultimately, I believe we all need problems. We all need probably difficult times. Because if God just gave you $1 million, a stimulus <laughs> of $1 million, <laughs> if God took away your enemies, gave you a problem-free, perfect life, you would probably be on your way to hell now. Let me stop here. God bless you.